Welcome to President Benson. Today we're starting where a prospective student starts, uh, first in the Welcome Center, and then all the steps along kind of that, uh, that application and educational journey. So uh, the chance to see our admissions process, financial aid. In so many ways, this is a, a one-stop shop. Our goal was to showcase what an enrollment management operation does. Welcome to Coastal Carolina University. So often when, when people think about that area, they think campus tours, college fairs, you know, some applications, but don't really have a full appreciation or understanding of all the pieces and parts that go into the, the operation. I really wish everybody could come here and see what goes into an operation like this, the various components that make up the whole. Our, what we call prospective student database or prospective student pool, is probably about 80,000 students. What do you do? We receive over 15,000 applications. Each of those applications is submitting multiple documents. You know, that's over 100,000 documents that we process in a given admission cycle. On the other side of that is really that front line piece of it, so looking at the phone calls that come in. We really just have a, a large intake of, of interest in the university, which is fabulous, but then it does take a, a staff to be able to manage and meet the student expectations, provide the, the right information in a timely fashion. About 80 to 90 percent of our students do use some type of financial aid. When we're fully staffed, we have anywhere between 17 to 18 full-time staff members. We do have staff that the main thing that they do is they talk to students and parents. They're kind of the face of our office. But we also have a back side of the house. And so they may not see a student, they may not see a family, but they are processing FAFSA applications. They're processing all the documents that students are turning in. A lot is based on the FAFSA. We really encourage students that can to fill that out so that we can determine their financial need. I got to see the front line, what you might call the back of house. It gives you a whole new appreciation for the work that goes on in here and uh, how hard they work and what a great team we have. We uh, made an admissions packet for him, awarded him a scholarship. We mail these to students once they do enrollment and orientation. Gave him some of the communication that students get once they've been admitted from their admissions counselor, really to give him an idea of what goes into that, to get a student from a visitor to a Shauna Clear. I think he was impressed, number one, that the work was done in-house. The banner and the sunglasses <laughs> and uh, all the other elements of the packet uh, really were, I thought, really cool. If I were a 17, 18 year old uh, young student and I got that in the mailbox, it makes you feel like you're part of something. On average, students are applying to um, about seven to eight colleges. They're getting admitted to between five and six of those colleges. The ultimate barometer of how well you're doing as a university is that in the presence of good options, a student chooses you. We do everything that we can to make sure that students are aware of their options. Our goal is to get them to graduation, but a kind of a sub-goal is to make sure they're not riddled with debt, if at all possible. We print and mail acceptance letters every day when we're in application season, which we are right now. We do a personal letter for every student, and um, Dr. Benson actually signed three students' um, acceptance letters, wrote a personal note to them. It was fun just to sign there and, and say, hope to see you on campus soon, and sign up. Mike Benson president. And I think that just means a lot. The president of that university wrote a handwritten note to that student. I certainly hope I can meet them when they come here in the fall and I hope they enroll and I hope they register. I hope these students will look back and say this was the beginning of my academic journey beyond high school.